Let me take you through tutorial and let us see how we can use Social Bee. In order to get started, I have provided the link in the description below, which will give you a special discount to sign up. And once you click on sign in and sign up, you will see here this form will open. If you have the user ID password, you will enter it here. Otherwise, you will go here to sign up here and then enter the user ID and password. Of course, your email ID. For example, mine is amdithatsyncpricks.com and I'll choose the password. And then you can agree the terms and conditions and receive the social media tips and offers. So I'll disable this and register it here. So on registration, you'll get an email. So you'll be simply clicking the confirmation button to confirm your account. Once you are signed up, once you are logged in, connect your social media accounts one by one. So you will need to log in to all social media accounts and then from here you will be able to connect to all social media accounts. So I'll be choosing one by one for Facebook, YouTube, LinkedIn, Twitter, Pinterest and so on. It will prompt you to authorize the social bee to access your accounts. Okay, I'm logged in here with my social bee account and you can see here this is the dashboard. On dashboard I can see all my social media accounts. Here is uh, Google Maps and then Facebook, Pinterest, Twitter, LinkedIn and YouTube. You can add more of course, but I have added six only which I'm using. Then here in the left menu, you can see here there are various options available. Uh, click on content, the content categories, hashtag collection. Collection name will be you know, for example, and I have added these 20 hashtags here. So I'll create this whenever I'll be posting any content so I can simply bring in the hashtags directly from here instead of typing all these hashtags one by one and then import csv in case you want to import the bulk posts so you can do that so i can create the categories for example i'll create the category name youtube videos and then i can create another category called blog posts and then i can create tech news so rss so here's my blog website syncrix.com and in case I want to check the feed so and I can simply copy this feed and add this RSS feed here and fetch. It will fetch all the latest blog posts from my website. I can choose the category from here for example blog post and you can see here 10 recent posts are in this feed. You go here to the categories and if you see here blog post all these blog posts are available schedule setup random posts are automatically created but nothing is created right now so you can add your promotion and all of that and assign it here and i was talking about analytics also if i click here you can see all the analytics here the page analytics post analytics and all of that and i'll go back again here to the categories and if you see here i created one as a blog post but you can see here there are various other categories also so youtube videos so i can go here and add posts to this category so I can start adding the post into this category. Suppose there is a YouTube video if I want to put it here. Now suppose if I want to add the hashtags also here so I can just click on hashtags and I can choose those hashtags from the categories. Once I save it, it will start posting. But no, I want to add the posting time here. So I'll be adding a posting time. Suppose I want to. Now you can see here the post has been set up at a spe specific schedule. So this is how it can be done. Another cool feature that I must show you is uh, connecting uh, this particular platform with Canva. So to do that, I'll just go add post. And you can see here a little button here that shows canva so it will integrate with canva and then from canva and here add to social media so you connect it to canva you design the post from there and it has directly brought it here instead of exporting that into image and then importing it here you can directly design So where you want this link to be published, Twitter, LinkedIn, Facebook and Google Maps. So if I enable this 
post it now so it will post it right away so i'll just click on save so now it will start publishing now if you see here i'll go to syncrix post has been published on twitter also here is the social media post on twitter there are various other features that i'll be explaining you in upcoming videos hope this social media video has helped you to understand how to manage your social media platform Today, managing social media platform is not a difficult task. If you have any comments or feedback about this video, please don't forget to leave that in the comment section below. Click the subscribe button, press the bell icon because I'll be updating videos regularly to make sure that you understand how to use social media management tool for your business. See you in next video. Take care and goodbye.